Hare Krishna. Well, here we are. The camper van's over there. I walk along here, and I just come to these rocks, and I just like to show you some thing of interest. These rocks, as you can imagine, are being slowly eroded by the ocean, the sea, and we all think of rock as just like you know, solid, dull matter. But if you look here at the uh, weathering, the erosion, you can see little fragments of bits of uh, hard bits of rock, soft bits of rock. And if we go a little bit closer and look at this rock pool, here we have some kind of formed uh, plants. Um, if you look over here, I don't know if you can see it, but there are, um, for example, there, there's little bits of uh, fibrous plant tissue where you can see little shapes and bits and pieces and strings of grass and little different kind of, what am I trying to say, yeah, um, plant material. It's all been fossilized and compacted and heated and formed into rock. Now there's millions of years of just compressed vegetation and uh, in some place in I think it was in Jap Japan they found fossilized machinery cogs uh, parts of a machine that was embedded in rock it had moving pieces or once moving pieces intricate more intricate than, than Swiss clocks that we have today so um, our history that they tell us in the Bibles and in the history books in school is nothing, nothing at all. That's a better one there, you can see. So the history on this planet is far older than what they're telling us. And, uh, you know, we should really start inquiring into what went before, why we're not being told the truth, and uh, what they're keeping from us because you can be sure that because they aren't telling us because if we know the truth it'll make us stronger and more powerful and more able to understand who we are in relationship to this world and why we're here so yeah, I can see all this here um, yeah, wonder, w just start wondering why people are keeping the truth from us because the truth makes us stronger makes us able to deal with reality better because if they just tell us that we're evolving monkeys, and that's all we think we can be. But in fact, we're much more than that. We are eternal. We are spirit souls, part of the divine. And um, we have been lied to now since uh, a long time. Thousands of years, in fact. We've been lied to. And we've been used and abused. And we have been um, manipulated. So... I advise you to break the break the habits. I advise you to start inquiring to the truth. Start looking at reality. Start looking what's being lied to us and what's being kept from us. And then you can find out who you really are. Hare Krishna. Evolve.